Hi everybody. In this video we're going to learn how to set some of the property values of the orbit controls in 3JS. After we've imported our orbit controls and set up a new instance of the orbit controls in the controls object, we're going to play with a couple of things. First thing is you can turn the controls on or off by the controls.enable property. By default it's true, but you can turn the orbit controls off under any circumstances, like when a particular event happens. Okay, we can also control the target. Right now the target is x of 5, y is 0, and z is 0. But we can set the new position by putting it inside the brackets of a new 3 dot vector 3. And we could also set the target by setting the position of a different object. So we could feed in the object's position values. Now the camera is targeting the green cube. Okay, you can set the min and max distance of the camera. The min distance is how close the camera can dolly or zoom in, and the max distance is how far the camera can dolly or zoom out. I can only zoom in this far till 10, and I can only zoom out this far. If you want your user to keep within a certain amount of distance to your objects, that is a good way to do it. Enable damping, that's set to false by default. That means you can enable or disable inertia. It means that it kind of gives you a feeling of being in space. And the damping factor is kind of how responsive it is. If it's a lower number, it's going to be less responsive. Now you see it's not very responsive, and if I let go of the mouse, it keeps going in that direction. That's what inertia is. Resting bodies stay at rest, and moving bodies keep moving until you apply a force to change direction. Okay, so I'm going to turn the enable damping to false before I use the auto rotate. By default auto rotate is set to false. I'm going to set it to true and the auto rotate speed is how fast the camera rotates around the target it's looking at. So by default it's two but I'm going to set it to one just for a slower rotation. The camera is targeted at the cube two position so it should rotate around cube two. So if you want the camera to automatically rotate around a specific position in your project or game, this is a good way to do it. Okay, and you can also control the zoom speed, how fast the camera zooms in in an object. The default is one, but if you want the user to be able to have a slower zoom speed, use a lower number, or a faster zoom speed, that's a higher number. And one more interesting piece of information you can get from the orbit controls is the distance from the camera to the object it's targeting. To do that, you can use controls.getDistance, the getDistance method. It will tell you the distance between the camera and the object the camera is targeting. Right now, the camera is about 13 away, and if I zoom out, about 20, that's the max distance of the camera, right? The camera will not get more than 20 away. And if we zoom in, right, we can't zoom in more than 10, so 10 is the closest the camera can get. And these are some of the properties you can change of the orbit controls. If you need more information, check the link below for the orbit controls page that has a list of all the events you can listen to, the properties of the orbit controls, and the methods 